As you guys know, when your boat stands for too long without being used, things break. Um. I raise you up so you can stand on my <laughs> We've got base. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. After arriving back on Lady Africa and getting her all clean and beautiful again, it was time to put up our sails. If only the squalls would stop. We're currently just waiting. Um, there's a squall coming, as you can see. Waiting for it to kind of die down a little bit. After waiting pretty much until it was dark and my camera battery died, we then put up the sails. But it was on to the next task the following day. Since so it was a late night last night we worked pretty much till nine o'clock at night um, I didn't film I'm so bad at filming work I because we both hate boat work so much that we just want to get it over and done with so we don't like set up a camera and film and all that kind of stuff so <laughs> I didn't film a lot of the stuff we did but what we did do was put up our Genoa. I started filming that and then the battery ran out because I forgot to put on time lapse and put it on normal record. But we put up the Genoa, we put up our Energerb, and then we were like, okay, we're super tired. Ended up coming back in the boat and like, oh, okay, what other jobs can we do? Installed our aft cabin fans for when the family and friends come visit and then we put up our main sail this morning with our stack pack so we were pretty productive then i started polishing the stainless steel but it doesn't freaking stop raining like it hasn't stopped raining since we got to grenada every day it rains continuously i'm um, we maybe had like total since we've been here six hours of sunshine so I've tried to do laundry. I've had to bring in the laundry multiple times. Eventually I left it and then it got soaked. Since it was raining so much, we did some indoor boat work. As you guys know, when your boat stands for too long without being used, things break. What happened was our water pump decided to die on us. And so we don't have any running water on our gaddy at the moment. I'm making a pressure switch from a high voltage pressure switch. It's got beefy contactors. So hopefully... Did you buy that today? Yeah, this is what's on a normal residential pump. This is a pressure switch on a residential pump. And this is the little switch that comes on a normal pump. And we keep going through these things like crazy. They just, they just got a small little contact switch in there. They're super weak. The little contact switch you can't handle it gets hot really easily because you you're running what does this one run that's a beefy one seven amps so this runs seven amps the other one runs 15 amps through a little contactor switch it's tiny i mean check the size of these contactors i mean 10 amps will do nothing to that we've got so much damn spares on this boat it's absolutely unreal the next owner is going to love it there's spares for everything spares for hydraulics spare pumps just endless spares so we also have organized our spares relatively well so like everything is kind of in one cabin yeah one so cabin each in the down box, whoever the buys box. the boat doesn't have to go and scound around the whole boat to try find things generally everything is allocated to certain section while ricky's building our pressure switch don't forget to subscribe below and like this video it's a free way you can support our channel
After completing the build, it came down to the moment of truth. Open the door. And just like that, engineer Ricky came to the rescue and gave us water again. So we're heading off to the fish market today to go see if we can find some tuna. Um, we haven't had much luck finding it and other people seem to so struggle to find it. So we're going to go see if we can get some tuna um, so that we can stock up our fridge because we're provisioning to head up north. And we're just, north. And we're just waiting for guests. AKA Glenn and Wade, and we're gonna then hop off to where are we going? Martinique. Martinique. So that's good. How are you liking your new outboard? <laughs> Should have had this five years ago before I had the boat. Should have bought the outboard before I bought the boat. No, no. but it's so good. Hop in. Ready. Ready to rock and roll. Don't lose your cap this time. Ready to show everyone the performance on this monster. I've already showed them the performance, babes. Have they? Yeah. Have they seen it? Uh huh. I think they need to see it again. Hold on. Getting on, I trust the scooter. get a tuna lure. <laughs> Our time in Grenada was coming to an end so it was time to say bye to friends. I like the five horsepower. Take that five horsepower guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Eh? The whole street. And it's weird too. Well fireflies. And an important boat task was also completed, putting our transducer back and putting a listing up for our home in four years. One, two, three. Um. <sighs> so. I just listed Lady Africa for sale on a few of the Facebook groups and on our Facebook and our Instagram and all that stuff and whew, I was like typing everything and it was fine and then when like, the tree posted it I just felt like this super rush of overwhelmingness and like sadness in a way definitely sadness um, that we were selling her I know it's the right thing for Ricky and I, it definitely is, like in our hearts and our minds, we really wanted it. When we were in Salt Lake and Indiana, we were like, we were just so ready, like, this is what we want. We want to get back on land, we want to work, we want to have kids. You know, and just be by family. We really miss having family around. but. To be able to easily fly out to them, it's way easier for us to fly from America to them. And like just, it's just a better future for us and we know that. And it's so, it's like, we're looking so forward to our new chapter. But that doesn't mean we can't be sad at the ending of this chapter, you know? So, yeah, it was a beautiful ending. It's going to be a beautiful ending and we're going to love it and it's, it's, it's what we need to do 
it doesn't mean that it's not allowed to be sad and difficult at the same time um but yeah yeah i didn't think it was gonna hit me that hard but it really did and you know oh but yeah we're hoping we can find someone that will love her and cherish her as much as we do we are gonna have one last season on her that is our terms and conditions and um, we're hoping a new owner can pick her up in Bahamas or Florida whichever is easier um, and just yeah we're taking her up there so that's the goal and just enjoying her and looking after her for our last bit of time that we have left with her and maybe enjoying her so yeah so we're gonna do we're excited to leave soon um, Glenn is joining us now he's gonna um him and his son wade uh, you saw them in our namibia videos if you haven't seen that already go check it out but they'll be joining us now on sunday and they're gonna sail up with us hopefully we can make it to st martin but if not they'll be flying out somewhere up in the leeward islands um but it's just yeah it's kind of fitting that glenn joins us for this sail um because yeah he's been a huge part of our adventure too um he helped us tremendously when we were building the boat he did the atlantic crossing with us so yeah it's it's just everything's like working the way it needs to work out and so we're we're ready for this last season and i hope you guys are ready too and s carry on watching if you guys are leaving because we're selling the boat that's fine too we completely understand you don't want to see our land life that's okay um, for those that are staying, we look forward to showing you the rest of our adventures and what we get up to. I'm sorry if I made you tear up there for a bit, but don't worry, our adventure is not over yet. He's going up the moss, we're getting ready to head off to Grand Aunt's. Um, and Grenada are picking up Glenn and Wadey. He's just climbing up the moss quickly to make sure everything's good and run our asymmetric lines through there so that we can fly asymmetric when we want to. So I just got up the moss to do a rig check and uh, check what we find when we get back a block's missing so I got that on the snatch block it's probably not the best idea as opposed to this one so, got it on a better system and uh, need to put some wire tie on there too but yeah that's why we come and check the rig make sure that everything looks good before we go sailing Interesting that that came off, even on a snatch block there. This is a snatch block that brought us across the Atlantic. I want to take it off to show you the way on the inside, or maybe I'll show you it when we get back down. But this is the flattest day you will ever see in the Caribbean. Absolutely no wind at all. Hot, humid. Today is also our last day in Secret Harbor. And tomorrow is our last day in Grenada, officially last day uh, on Lady Africa because Lady Africa is up for sale. So if you guys want to check that out, check the link down below if you're interested in the boat. And um, yeah, give us a drop us a mail and we'll hand her over in Bahamas or in Florida. So yeah, last season for us, super stoked to be back and one last ride. Let's go baby. Sweet, done, new block on, and we're good to go. We'll put some Loctite on that so that it wouldn't be coming loose anytime soon. Yeah, just go down slowly and then I'll, I'll inspect the rig on the way down. Done like a pro, thank you very much. I'm the best, what do you call that? I raise people up. I raise you up so you can stand on mountains. The block was attached to the end of it. It looked like So this. the block is gone. The block fell into the ocean. Yep. Oh. Which is crazy because that shit's not supposed to burn. I thought, what did you do with that one now? Are you going back up again? No, I put a new one. Oh. There's another one that I had. That piece is missing all that stainless. Well, that brought us across the Atlantic. It looks rough now. So excited to start getting on the move. We're heading off to Grand Dance. It's going to be so good. And I'm just waiting for it to get off the phone. And I'm just having my cup of coffee. 
and then we'll head off. We're gonna motor. There's like no wind whatsoever. Um, it's the calmest I think we've ever experienced in Grenada. But we were like, you know what? We want to get up to our lawns. We got to pick up Dana away there. So let's just motor. It's calm. It's beautiful. And then tomorrow morning we're heading off to Martinique. We're gonna beeline it straight. We've done St. Vincent and Tobago Keys. We've done a little bit of St. Lucia. So if you haven't checked that out, check it down in the links below or on our previous videos that are listed up there. <laughs> and then uh, we've done a bit of Martinique, but we're just gonna be there for about two days. And then hopefully we're either jumping between Guadeloupe, Antigua, or St. Kitts and Nevis. We might do all, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep you updated. Have you decided to do this alone? It's fine, go to your station. But the new roller is nice. Yeah. Has been clipped to the side. Yeah, I see. Uh, oh, we hope not. Gotta just let it bounce around a little. Ciao, ciao, secret holder. Ciao, ciao, we. Toodaloo. Kangaroo. Never say never, but I don't think we're gonna come here again. <laughs> don't think we'll see it again for a while. Maybe one day we'll bring our little kiddos to Grenada. Yep. Tell them this is where your mom and dad came by a sailboat to the Caribbean for the first time. I mean, today's like a really, really flat day. But there's, you see the breakers on the left and the breakers on the right, and you just gotta straight down the middle. Are you seriously on? <laughs> We've got bait. Are we gonna skew him? I don't know, he's small. Yeah, let him go. We already have bait, so let him go. Pretty much motoring into a massive squall at the moment. So we made it to St. George and we're heading off to land to see what's open and just browse around. Get some boat cleaner. One little pot to clean. So get some boat cleaner. Maybe some extra diesel. It's cheaper, yeah. And then see if we can also do a checkout. Check out that squall we got coming. And by that afternoon, it was time to go pick up the Grundies. Next week on Lady Africa, we start heading up north, first stop Martinique for some baguettes and cheese. Thanks for watching guys. For those interested in Lady Africa, you can also pop us an email on svladyafrica at gmail.com. We will also be doing a thorough walkthrough video of her soon, so you'll know what she has on board. Have an awesome week!